Hello, everybody. Jonathan Chick back with you. Stissel Man with more insights into Stissel episodes. We're going to go to episode three of season one. And by the way, thank you for all your questions. Got a ton of them in the last 48 hours since we started. Um, I'm going to, in most cases, address the question based on when it appears in the episode for the most part. Like a lot of you are asking about why Gitti uh, rejected Shira. That I'll have to leave for episode three, just to avoid spoilers for people who want to read, watch the videos in order. But for now, we're going to talk about women's wigs and general dress code for women in the Hasidic and Orthodox communities. So as you see in the series, um, Gitti, Elisheva, Aliza, who Shulam's, uh, the divorcee who Shulam is... Uh, courting, if you will, or trying to court unsuccessfully, um, they're all wearing some form of hair covering. So in Gitti's case, she's wearing a wig, as well as Elie Sheva. Uh, and as you noticed, uh, Aliza, in one of the scenes, she's wearing a something called the snood, S-N-O-O-D, which is an English word, believe it or not, which refers to a type of just fabric hair covering. There's also hats and scarves and other things. Well, I'm going to give you some props here because my wife was so kind to donate for today's viewing her shaitel, or otherwise known as wig, in the Yiddish, and it is known as a shaitel. Here it is. And as you can see, well, this is not her, but it's a shaitel head, as they say, or a wig head. Um, this is not a horror show, don't worry. Um, but you'll see that the shaitels, the wigs, are very, very nice. There's a, as you can see, like a, this is human hair. There's a part over there. It looks quite good. And so the, the wigs do, in fact, look often quite good. But some women opt to just wear a hat or a scarf because they want to um, sort of keep uh, a more of a traditional view and not even wear a a wig which looks like hair to begin with. They prefer to just very simply wear a hat or a scarf or a snood. Why do they do this? Well, the law is, again, Orthodox and, Ju and traditional Judaism, that a woman who gets married should cover her hair. It's a modesty thing, and it also is a connotation that they are actually married. Now, you would ask, then why should Elisheva do it, as well as Eliza, because they are both either widowed or divorced, and the answer is that in most cases, um, the women do continue to, put, to, to, once they accepted the, so to speak, the custom of covering their hair, even after their status has changed, they still continue to cover their hair. All right, just briefly, uh, in terms of the dress code, as you notice that the women generally wear to the knee, uh, skirts to the knee, no pants, skirts to the knee, um, the elbow covered, sleeves covered at least from the elbow, and the neckline is uh, less open than my shirt here. Um, so, and that's all for modesty purposes. All these are modesty reasons, and they um, are there for that, and that applies to both married and unmarried women. Um, and uh, again, there's many permutations of this. Um, to what extent does it go? Of course, many women wear tights or pantyhose um, in the Hasidic world for sure. In the uh, Orthodox world, that does depend on practice of the community in a way. But uh, bottom line is, these are all ways of, of, of basically modesty, which is a very important tenet for uh, women. It is not used against women. It is not used as a in a misogynistic way. Um, Women generally embrace this because they feel that they will be appreciated for who they are, rather their their bodies, if you will. Um, and uh, generally speaking, and also we're going to get to this much more later, but Judaism very, very much honors the woman and the woman's place in society. Um, and so that's something that we will discuss at length as we get further and further into the series. Again, these laws are very, very detailed. But the bottom line is that once a woman gets married, she does cover her hair in many different ways. And there are the various laws of modesty in uh, dress. Thanks so much. See you next time.